You know, something that I forget to do is tying up the headband on my GoPro, which makes it so much better. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I've been driving around with the 271 intercooler for quite a while, and it does make a difference. So, everybody was telling me to get the PR01, get the Mishimoto, and get the 271. Well, to be honest, I'm a huge fan of the 271 intercooler because of how it looks. And I'm actually just a 271 fan in general. Like, they make good products. I have yet to have any issues with them. Everybody likes their products, dude. They're like really well known for the 10th gen community. So, I said, why not? I emailed one of them. And here's the thing. When you try to get this intercooler, it's most likely going to be like 90% out of stock or at least on their website so what i did was i emailed them i was talking to vlad and he was very helpful they were able to get me one they had one in stock and shipped it out to me as soon as i bought it like let's just say on a monday dude i got that by like wednesday or thursday like it shipped really quick i think they're in las vegas and i'm in southern california so it got shipped pretty quick that was a huge plus like i didn't expect a lot of performance oriented out of it does that make sense because this is still my first turbo car that i am experiencing um i did experience heat soak in the summer with my stock intercooler so with this one on a very hot day i'm gonna say like sometime last week it hit like 91 92 and on my way to work here's some pictures of how it was with my stock intercooler it was pretty high on both sides of the temperatures and then but that's just me driving normally like in the hot weather uh freeway driving by the way or highway depending on what way i took and then here's a picture of the same route on the same temperature so as you guys can see the temperature did drop by itself pretty pretty well it also helps that like i'm not out there racing everybody and like not always trying to do a pull and all the other good stuff but what is nice about it oh there is pros and cons to this intercooler it is a bigger intercooler i've i actually might want to say this is probably the biggest intercooler sizing you can get for this car like it is huge look at the size comparison for this like it, it's pretty big the mishimoto one i believe is like 20 percent smaller if that a prl one's like slightly bigger than the mishimoto if i do remember correctly the 271 is the biggest one available for the 10th gen because it is a bigger intercooler you may or may not experience more boost lag which i gotta say it's kind of fun i haven't experienced a gnarly boost lag but i do experience it every now and then and at first i was like all right at first i was like oh shoot my clutch is slipping but then like nope then it hit me boost lag so oh and another thing i still haven't experienced any clutch slippage i am on map 2 on variable um but i do drive it normally i don't stress out the car as much as other people do so i never understood why people experience cl clutch slip slipping so early Oh, sound wise it's not that much of a difference it is just a little bit louder than the stock intercooler pulls for you guys after the gym but as of right now because i'm not gonna do it right here but yeah no clutch slipping so long as i just ease into it and uh full throttle after 3000 rpm i'm chilling uh, i've driven plenty of times on the freeway i've driven plenty of times in like at first because this was my first install uh with intercooler piping I really thought I was gonna like, oh shoot, I over tightened one of the clamps or I under tightened one of the clamps and I was expecting boost leak or the car to malfunction. No, nothing. Instructions that they provide with you online really, really, really well. So hats off to 271 with the instructions and everything done to the car. So I am very excited for more products from them so we can get this ball rolling. you guys know me well i love taking canyon runs 
and oh look at that German Shepherd dude let's see if we can get close to this bug bumper is that a German Shepherd I don't know but this bro is just driving around with his latch open oh okay never mind bye I think there's another dog in there oh there's definitely two dogs in there they're chilling yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and can pick this video up in a bit i'm gonna go ahead and, and go to the gym because my pre-workout is getting me right now the cons with it guys is you do have a little bit of boost lag it's not as bad as people think so that's why a lot of people stay away from the 271 intercooler but in all honesty unless you're like big turbo you're probably not going to notice that much of a boost lag obviously the cons is you get a little bit more boost lag but it looks good it looks good in stealth black i like the 271 how it looks in the front of the grill you can't really tell because it is black but even with a silver intercooler or a gray intercooler i think the black one just looks better overall um i have been looking into relocating the license plate but i can't find one that's going to be good for the car i know Perrin has one on their website but that you have to drill into the garnish which i don't mind doing because it's not even that uh difficult to do but i know correct me if i'm wrong but i think the honda sensing on the 2020 models are on the driver's side and the parent license plate relocator goes on the driver's side so i've heard that it will disrupt the honda sensing and freak the sensors out i don't want to do that and then on the right side or the passenger side where you have the little slit for the air horn can't really do anything there unless you do a custom bracket so kind of stuck right there uh i really want to relocate i'm not even worried about the bumper holes because i already found uh bumper taps that would cover it fully color matched as well so if you guys know of any other way other than using zip ties let me know in the comment section because show off the intercooler a little bit better but at the end of the day guys if you guys are considering getting an intercooler my honest answer if you're just daily driving the car you don't need one you're fine with the oem one if you're just getting from point a to point b and you're not really doing poles you're just using the car as a commuter honestly if anything all you would really need is just an intake so you can hear the whoosh sound from the intake and the bypass valve but anything else guys you really won't need it unless you're doing pull after pull after pull and you want to be full ball time because you're trying to meet a goal and blah 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 so so far i've enjoyed everything from it it actually helps out with me because when i am stuck in traffic in the heat i can do a pull just to keep up with traffic really quick and be chilling no uh heat soap whatsoever i don't know if honda did something different to the 2020 models and somehow made or decided to make the clutches a little bit stronger in the 2020 models because everybody that i've talked to online and met in person that has a 2020 or a 2021 honda civic because even the hatchbacks as well don't have any problems with their clutches and they're around the same mileage as me and they're actually pushing more power so i don't know if it's just the luck of the draw or whatever the case is but it's that's very interesting Nice. Oh, nah, way. Mama, da. 
Yes. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> After doing a pull right now, after doing two pulls, 86 degrees on the first one and 891 degrees on the second one. I mean, it's going up now because the car's not moving, but when the car sits still, the temperatures rise. But when it's sucking in all that air, ora, drops like a mofo. So, again, if you guys are into doing pulls and you need an intercooler, you cannot go wrong with anything on the market. 271, PRL, Mishimoto like they're all good brands just pick any brand that you guys want to support and you're not going to be dissatisfied you're gonna you're gonna love the outcome of it the reason why i went with 271 is because it's a whole package i believe i got their kit for about 850 and it came with the charge pipes mishimoto and prl you have to buy the charge pipes separately and it costs a little bit more i want to say it's about about 100 bucks more for that i didn't uh, i didn't want that so it was nice but anyways guys i will see you guys in another video we're gonna go ahead and end it tonight we're gonna go eat some sushi and that should be chilling right there sushi. see you guys in another one you guys have a good day peace